I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Today's video is so exciting. It is all about what we do the day before Thanksgiving just to get ready for the holiday season. And um, I'm going to start out with a fun do-it-yourself project that I did with my little daughter. And it is so simple. It's all from the dollar store. I've got a pizza pan here with two little pie pans. And I'm not going to lie, this is the first time I did this. And if I did it again, I would use spray paint, not acrylic paint, because it really doesn't stick to aluminum. Forgive me, I am not a huge do it yourself -er. I just started being a do-it-yourselfer so um, but anyways I actually wound up dabbing the paint and it gave the pans a little texture rather than um, just painting it so and you see my little daughter there she is paint she is dabbing the paint like that too if you see what I mean um, but if you have spray paint I would totally recommend doing spray paint so much easier um, so anyway I have this little vase here that I found and um, um, I'm just doing the same thing to that. I tried to do three tiers here, but I wound up only doing two because the third tier um, just it wasn't it, the I guess it was because of the candle vase that I got and it was just too small. It wasn't tall enough. So I actually wind up only doing two tiers, but it still came out super cute. between I am using a blow dryer this way I could just dry the paint faster um, because you know it's only so long my daughter would be involved with this right so um, I'm using some e6000 to glue on these pieces here you are going to see that I really tried I really tried to do three tiers and you see how it's like totally uneven I'm just not happy with it so um, I decided just to do the two tiers I still actually wound up keeping that little candle vase on top and it does give it a lot of extra character so here I am using um, a, some chalk paint and I am just going to gently um, do it around the edges so it kind of gives it that rustic look that a lot of the farmhouse stuff has and like I said this is my first time ever doing anything like this so love me through it don't be too judgmental because I can see it's not perfect, but we love it and I think it came out so super duper cute. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way. Right, so for this next recipe, I made a super fragrant simmer pot recipe. It is so simple, and it makes the whole house smell like Christmas. I put it on right before we started um, decorating the Christmas tree, and it just made the whole house smell so good. So it's super simple, just um, slice up one large orange, one Granny Smith apple, and then put them in a pot. There is no rhyme or reason to this, just throw it all together. One cup of cranberries, and then we're gonna put probably, I'd say, a handful of cloves, and um, probably like maybe seven cloves, and then two cinnamon sticks, and then a bunch of rosemary sprigs. I think I put like four rosemary sprigs in here and then you're gonna cover it all with four cups of water or whatever it takes to get it all submerged. Is it ever since July? I've been happier than I have ever been. It's safe to say that my love 
love for you is true and then i added this extra ingredient which is just some imitation vanilla there is no reason to put real vanilla extract unless you want to it's just for the fragrance so it's not like you're eating this so it and then just make sure it's all mixed up and simmer it for as long as you want i literally had this simmering all day long. everything to be perfect for this week tomorrow it is christmas my favorite part in this video because it is real toddler mom life and I am so in awe with some of these YouTube moms that have these beautiful houses with these beautiful Christmas decorations and how they do it without their kids destroying it the second it's put up I have no idea <laughs> but this is just real life and um I this is like the second my is my my littlest it's technically her third Christmas but it's her second one that she really remembers this part just has me laughing so much because if you see my little daughter she is trying to put on this Christmas ornament and she just trying and trying and then she just gives up and then she just sticks it in the tree so i have to show her how to hang it on the tree the right way i just think it's so cute ocean, let's go to the ocean yeah let's go outside we can hang out on the beach without freezing yeah isn't that amazing in Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in my heart But this year I wanna hang out This has me cracking up, you guys Because if you see on the bottom <laughs> all of the ornaments are like all bunched in one spot so now that the kids are busy playing with their dolls i can actually decorate the tree and make everything um a little more evened out because you know they're only so tall but like i always say it's all about the experiences right in christmas times saw these two little Christmas trees at Walmart. They were literally like $25 for both of them. I think they're meant for your like front porch or something, but the girls, it's like the perfect size for them. So I had to get them and they got their own little Christmas trees to decorate. And I just thought it was so cute. When we move into a bigger house, I definitely want to get them Christmas trees for their own rooms because that is something I've always wanted since I was a little girl and I want to be able to give them that too. All night long, we're gonna dance and dance and have a good time. I think Santa's gonna come and join us in this song. So here I am actually using stuff from Dollar Tree. Mostly everything that I'm using is from Dollar Tree as my decor. And um, you can see my little daughter with her toys there, but um, I, it's so simple to decorate with stuff from Dollar Tree and just to make it look pretty. So let me know what you guys think in the, the comments, if you think this is a good setup or if, there, if it's too much, if I should change something. This is just my style. I love the traditional Christmas looks. No is said to fall today. It comes to say that Christmas is on its merry way. And for every single child, there's a gift on Santa's sleigh. The first flake of snow. Today. The 
favorite thing from the Dollar Tree for their Christmas decor this year are these little houses. I think they're so freaking cute. And they even have this little spot on the bottom of it where you could put a light and it actually just shines it all up. It's just adorable. I absolutely love these this year. And um, I love everything about how this entire top of my entertainment center came out. Let me know what you guys think. decorated for Christmas let's get into some fun recipes so this is a root vegetable arugula salad it's actually Giada and I love Giada so much so I love her recipes so here's a little trick for you with um, the pearl onions instead of peeling each one of them put them in some very hot water for 30, sec for 30 seconds to a minute, and then you are going to transfer them, as soon as you drain them, transfer them to some ice water. And all you have to do is cut the top off of it, and then if you squeeze it, it literally pops right out. It's a side of wonder, a magic time of love. So we are just going to the um, dicing up some carrots and one parsnip and this is just stuff that we're gonna throw in the oven we're gonna roast it at 400 degrees for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes and flipping halfway through um, and then we're just gonna season it with some olive oil I use salt pepper oregano and garlic powder So now for the sweet ingredients, I have a Bartlett pear. I would use a Bosch here, but my store didn't have them. Just slice them up thin, cover them with a nice damp paper towel so they stay fresh. And then let's make the dressing. It is just a quarter cup of olive oil, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, um, and then one tablespoon of honey. And then I actually put in a couple dashes of garlic powder and oregano um, and then salt pepper and whisked it all up and that is as simple as your dressing single child there's a gift on santa's sleigh the first flake of snow is said to fall today Large mixing bowl add in your arugula I would I used arugula and spinach but um, you feel free to use whatever you want here I love arugula but my store didn't have it um, so just add in your roasted vegetables your pears and then a, a half a cup of chopped walnuts mix it all up add the dressing and then just toss it and this is an amazing recipe if you've never tried this kind of recipe before give it a try you will not be disappointed fun holiday trail mix was absolutely my favorite recipe in the whole world because it's so simple. We literally just took stuff out of the pantry and threw it together. We actually did this for our movie night and it was so much fun. So I just took some cinnamon toast crunch, marshmallows, uh, chocolate chips, and pretzels and we just mixed it all up. I am not gonna lie, there was absolutely no measurements to any of this stuff. So we just kind of eyeballed everything out. Um, but get creative like that. I hope this gives you some inspiration to get creative with something
I am marshmallow. <laughs> Go ahead, have marshmallow. Yeah, yeah, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. So this recipe is a sweet potato turkey shepherd's pie and it's so yummy you guys so yummy and uh, it's such a good thing to eat during the week of Thanksgiving I know a lot of people make fun of me because I am eating turkey before Thanksgiving Day but I just love creating recipes around the holidays so um, all I did was um, I actually using sweet potatoes that are microwave so I just threw them in the microwave for eight minutes and then um, sprayed a pan and put my uh, pie crust down now I am just chopping up my vegetables that will be in the filling so it's just carrots celery two and two I just diced them up um, and then I got a shallot. I love using shallots because shallots have a less mild flavor than an onion. And as far as our herbs go, I used three sprigs of rosemary and then about, I'm gonna say about a tablespoon of thyme. I just add in the shallots I let that cook for about three minutes and then I added in the carrots and the celery now here I completely forgot to hit record on the rest of the stuff I put in here if you can tell I totally forgot to hit record I was so mad at myself but it's just I added the turkey and I used one cup of turkey gravy and then some um, peas and the frozen peas and frozen corn um, and then I just cooked that for about five minutes until it was all heated through um, and then I did add my um, herbs as well I hope that you guys got all that I know I was so mad at myself that I didn't hit record so anyway I'm just putting on my sweet potatoes on top and just kind of spread them all around the top and then I actually um, cooked this in the oven for about 20 minutes until the top was nice and golden brown. And here is what the finished product looked like. It was so good, you guys, with the sweet potato on top and the crust on the bottom. It's so good. So that'll do it you guys i appreciate you being here i appreciate you watching i hope that you are going to have the most amazing thanksgiving ever i know that it is a fun holiday so enjoy your family i'll see you in the next video you guys